For every child who has been told no due to their bleeding disorder, for every patient wondering when his next dose of life-saving clotting factor will be, for every family who has plans derailed by hemophilia, for all of us overcoming the impossible, this mountain is for you. I'm Chris Bombardier and I just summited Mount Everest. <laughs> Everest has this just, it's, it's a special mountain, you know, it's, it's the highest mountain in the world, there's so much history that is involved with the mountain. I've been dreaming about climbing it for so many years to actually like say that you're gonna climb it. I don't think it felt, I don't think it felt real until we're actually standing at base camp, looking at the mountain, looking at the ice fall. So I have a severe hemophilia B, which is a genetic bleeding disorder. Um, basically, my uh, body doesn't produce a protein called factor IX uh, that helps your blood clot. Um, so that can lead to like a lot of uh, internal bleeding and muscles and joints and stuff if not treated. Treatment is through IV medication, so that's ne never fun and you still get breakthrough bleeding. And then on the mountain, I treated uh, more often. I did it about every three or four days on Everest, uh, just because it's such a grueling trip and a hard trip that I wanted to be a pr more protected while I climb. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been and the, the most scary place I've ever been. Um, you know, you're going over these ladders and you can see down into the crevasses that you can't actually see the bottom of. and uh, you walk, you know, you're walking along and there's this huge ice rack that looks like it's going to tip over on you. And I actually sat down right before the South Summit and I was like, I can't do it. I think, I think that's too much. The, the Sherpa I was climbing with, uh, named Tashi, he, he came up to me and he said, you can make it. He's like, you're here for a mission. You're here for a reason. You have a purpose. You can do this. He's like, we'll do it together. We, we started going, you know, traversing towards the summit and all of a sudden I saw my guide Ryan and the rest of our team standing and I turned to Tashi and I said, is that the summit? And he said, yes, that's the summit. And I just gave him like the biggest hug and I started crying and <laughs> I want people to realize that like, you, you, there's a lot of excuses you can make in your life to not chase your dreams. You know, whether it's hemophilia or it's some, something else, you know, it's, if you believe in it, you can actually make it happen, which is pretty cool.